guys, so welcome to another video. I figured since I've been gone for so long, we should do a Q&A type video. First question is, would you say yes if Becky proposed? Will you be happily married if you said yes? Okay, so shh, don't tell anyone. But Becky and I are talking about marriage and if she proposed to me, I would cry. I would be so happy and yes, I would be happily married to her. Like even just thinking about like her being my wife is just like, <gasps> It like makes me feel a certain type of way that like in my chest that's like just a good feeling that I just can't even get. So every single year I write down every single person that we are shopping for, buying for, including pets. We are buying for 28 different people and five of those are pets. Wait no, six of those are pets. So it's a lot and so far we have only bought two gifts. So I think we're okay. It's the beginning of November so I think we're good. Um, I usually like to get my shopping done around this time, so I need to really hop onto it. And for you, it has been horrible. Diagnosed with cancer, hysterectomy, there has been deaths in my life that have literally hurt so bad. I've seen people around me hurt and just a lot has happened, but two big, really good things have happened. Becky and I live together. We've always lived together, but I'm saying we live together, just me and her, and it has been honestly so wonderful we both love it and we're so much happier here and also my mom i am so close to her now and i love her so much and i'm proud of her and it's been a long time coming 12 years and a whole lifetime of not the greatest relationship but that's like a whole other long story all within itself but uh that has been you know the two really 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 great things that have happened that i do get in my opinion i haven't done anything in the last couple of years that deserves that type of just uh, lashing that people give me. I do not think that I deserve that, no. So we're gonna do a little tea spilling here and Destiny doesn't even know this, so I'm sure you guys will message her. So when I first got with Becky, I was very open about everything that I was feeling, what I've been through. That's just the type of person I am. I'm very transparent, especially if I'm fixing to be in a relationship. I wanna say probably upwards to a year, year and a half after Destiny and I broke up, I was still in love with her. I was able to separate that though from the love that I felt for Becky. I was also in love with Becky. And I know there's like this like thing where people like, you can't be in love with two people at once. You can. Like, have you guys ever heard of Sister Wives? Like, hi, like, I'm not like into that. That's not me, I'm not like against it either, but you, you can. Definitely be in love with more than one person at all. I think it's really just like a drama filled fun time for them because I'm definitely over Destiny in that way. We hang out still to this day. Like she is like one of my best friends and there's things in her that I'm just like, that is not like who I would want to spend the rest of my life with. And that's like no shade, no tea, me and her both feel the same way. Just because our relationship didn't work in that sort of way, doesn't mean that we can't still be best friends. Like I feel like she's family to me and I have not been in love with her for about two years now, but people want to create that drama because it's fun to- Are you ever worried about running out of money? No, because I know how to budget. You guys see me as like the spending machine and I'm not gonna lie, I do spend a lot, but it's within my budget. It's within the little area that I have to spend money and I'm not worried, no, I'm, I'm really not because I know how to save money, spend responsibly within what I have, take care of my bills first. And I just, I know what I'm doing with my money. I. I hate having to like justify that, but I just know what I'm doing. Dana joined hater groups. No, she didn't. Have you gained your weight back or do you keep losing? So the topic of my weight and everything regarding that will actually be in an upcoming video. So hold on to your um, seats folks because we have some some uh, talking to do. Didn't you learn the first time not to ignore this? Uh, this question is A, super insensitive and very disrespectful and very condescending and rude in my opinion. You're assuming that I am not addressing this in my personal life because I'm not addressing it on YouTube. I think it's really silly. For you to expect me to address all of my health problems. My health is in the hands of my doctors. My skin color is no secret, but I just don't understand why you think that you deserve to hear me talk about that. And just saying like, didn't you learn the first time not to ignore this? Like, please don't, ah, I just feel like it's so rude to like use my cancer as like a clutch because you think it's okay to say something like that to me. I don't know, it's just, it rubs me wrong and I feel like it's kind of rude for Destiny and Dana. I feel like those two things are like, Totally, completely two different things. Regarding why do I buy things for Destiny and Dana, I buy things for everyone in my life because I'm a very giving person. My love language, when it comes to the output of my love, is definitely gifts. I love giving, that's just who I am, who, I, who I've always, we both have a budget. I'm very into budgeting. We have the exact same amount. So when we, pay, we have the same bank account and we share money, but when we pay separately, it's easy for us to determine, okay, well, this is how much you spent versus this is how much I spent. This is how much is knocked off your budget versus this is how much is knocked off mine. You ghost without saying why you're leaving. So why I left YouTube, I talked about that in my last video. 
But why I didn't mention that I was going to do it is because every time I mention I'm going to do something, I don't do it. So I figured I'm just going to do it, ignore it, because I knew that if I said something about it, people do get in my head. And I know a lot of you would have told me, come back, come back, don't do it, don't do it. Stay on YouTube. You're too lazy. You can't just leave your job. Da, da, da. I feel like a lot of that would get into my head and I figured, you know what, I'm just not going to say anything. And I do apologize to those who like miss me or who are super worried. I completely understand, but it's just like I had to do it for myself.